Abidus, Hellespont, Abidus, was an ancient city and bishopric in Mysia. It was located at the Narbernu promontory on the Asian coast of the Hellespont, opposite the ancient city of Sestos, and near the city of Janakale in Turkey. Abidus was founded in circa 670 at the most narrow point in the Straits, and thus was one of the main crossing points between Europe and Asia, until its replacement by the crossing between Lamsicus and Calipolis in the 13th century, and the abandonment of Abidus in the early 14th century. In Greek mythology, Abidus is presented in the myth of Hero and Leander as the home of Leander. The city is also mentioned in Rodanthe and Dosicles, a novel written by Theodore Prodromos, a 12th century writer, in which Dosicles kidnaps Rodanthe at Abidus. In 1675, the site of Abidus was first identified, and was subsequently visited by numerous classicists and travelers, such as Robert Wood, Richard Chandler, and Lord Byron. The city's Acropolis is known in Turkish as Maltepe. Following the city's abandonment, the ruins of Abidus were scavenged for building materials from the 14th to the 19th century, and remains of walls and buildings continued to be reported until at least the 19th century, however, little remains in the area was declared a restricted military zone in the early 20th century, thus little to no excavation has taken place. Abidus is mentioned in the Iliad as a Trojan ally and, according to Strabo, was occupied by Bebrises and later Thracians after the Trojan War. It has been suggested that the city was originally a Phoenician colony as there was a temple of Aphrodite porn, Aphrodite the harlot, within Abidus. Abidus was settled by Malaysian colonists contemporaneously with the foundation of the cities of Priapos and Perconosos in. Strabo related that Gygus, king of Lydia, granted his consent to the Milesians to settle Abidus. It is argued that this was carried out by Malaysian mercenaries to act as a garrison to prevent Thracian raids into Asia Minor. The city became a thriving center for tuna exportation as a result of the high yield of tuna in the Hellespont. Abidus was ruled by Daphnis, a pro-Persian tyrant, in the 520s BC, but was occupied by the Persian Empire in 514. Darius I destroyed the city following his Scythian campaign in 512. Abidus participated in the Ionian Revolt in the early 5th century BC, however, the city returned briefly to Persian control as, in 480, at the onset of the second Persian invasion of Greece, Xerxes I and the Persian army passed through Abidus on their march to Greece. After the failed Persian invasion, Abidus became a member of the Athenian led Delian League, and was part of the Hellespontine district. Ostensibly an ally, Abidus was hostile to Athens throughout this time, and contributed a feroce of four to six talents. Xenophon documented that Abidus possessed gold mines at Astyra or Cremaste at the time of his writing. During the Second Peloponnesian War, a Spartan expedition led by Dursilidas arrived at Abidus in early May 411 BC and successfully convinced the city to defect from the Delian League and fight against Athens, at which time he was made Harmost, commander slash governor. Of Abidus. A Spartan fleet was defeated by Athens at Abidus in the autumn of 411 BC. Abidus was attacked by the Athenians in the winter of 409 408 BC, but was repelled by a Persian force led by Parnabazus, satrap, governor, of Hellespontine Phrygia. Dursilidas held the office of Harmost of Abidus until ATL East. According to Aristotle, Abidus had an oligarchic constitution at this time. At the beginning of the Corinthian War in 394 BC, Agesilaus II, king of Sparta, passed through Abidus into Thrace. Abidus remained an ally of Sparta throughout the war and Dursilidas served as Harmost of the city from 394 until he was replaced by Anaxibius in, the latter was killed in an ambush near Abidus by the Athenian general Iphicrates in. At the conclusion of the Corinthian War, under the terms of the Peace of Antalcidas in 387 BC, Abidus was annexed to the Persian Empire. Within the Persian Empire, Abidus was administered as part of the satrapy of Hellespontine Phrygia, and was ruled by the tyrant Philiscus in 368. In, the city came under the control of the tyrant Ephiades. Abidus remained under Persian control until it was seized by a Macedonian army led by Parmenion, a general of Alexander the Great, in the spring of 336 BC. In 335, whilst Parmenion besieged the city of Pitani, Abidus was besieged by a Persian army led by Memnon of Rhodes, forcing Parmenion to abandon his siege of Pitani and march north to relieve Abidus. Alexander ferried across from Sestos to Abidus in 334 and traveled south to the city of Troy, after which he returned to Abidus. The following day, Alexander left Abidus and led his army north to Perkit. 
Alexander later established a royal mint at Abydos, as well as at other cities in Asia Minor. After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, Abydos, as part of the satrapy of Hellespontine Phrygia, came under the control of Leonidas as a result of partition of Babylon. At the partition of Triparadises in 321 BC, Eridaeus succeeded Leonidas as satrap of Hellespontine Phrygia. In 302, during the Fourth War of the Diadochi, Lysimachus, king of Thrace, crossed over into Asia Minor and invaded the kingdom of Antigonus I. Unlike the neighboring cities of Perium and Lampsacus which surrendered, Abydus resisted Lysimachus and was besieged. Lysimachus was forced to abandon the siege, however, after the arrival of a relief force sent by Demetrius, son of King Antigonus I. According to Polybius, by the 3rd century BC, the neighboring city of Arisbe had become subordinate to Abydus. The city of Dardanus also came under the control of Abydus at some point in the Hellenistic period. Abydus became part of the Seleucid Empire after 281 BC. The city was conquered by Ptolemy III Eurgetes, king of Egypt, in 245 BC, and remained under Ptolemaic control until at least 241, as Abydus had become part of the Kingdom of Pergamon by circa 200 BC during the Second Macedonian War. Abydus was besieged by Philip V, king of Macedonia in 200 BC, during which many of its citizens chose to commit suicide rather than surrender. Marcus Aemilius Lepidus met with Philip V during the siege to deliver an ultimatum on behalf of the Roman Senate. Ultimately, the city was forced to surrender to Philip V due to a lack of reinforcements. The Macedonian occupation ended after the Peace of Flamininus at the end of the war in 196 BC. At this time, Abydus was substantially depopulated and partially ruined as a result of the Macedonian occupation. In the spring of 196 BC, Abydus was seized by Antiochus III, Megas Basileus of the Seleucid Empire, who refortified the city in 192-191 BC. Antiochus III later withdrew from Abydus during the Roman Seleucid War, thus allowing for the transportation of the Roman army into Asia Minor by October 190 BC. Dardanus was subsequently liberated from Abidine control, and the Treaty of Apamea of 188 BC returned Abydus to the kingdom of Pergamon. A gymnasium was active at Abydus in the 2nd century BC. Attalus III, king of Pergamon, bequeathed his kingdom to Rome upon his death in 133 BC, and thus Abydus became part of the province of Asia. The gold mines of Abydus at Astyra or Cremaste were near exhaustion at the time was Strabo was writing. The city was counted amongst the Delonia custom houses, of the province of Asia in the Lex Portorii Asiae of 62 AD, and formed part of the Conventus Eridicus at Ramitium. Abydus is mentioned in the Tabula Putin Juriana and Antonine itinerary. The mint of Abydus ceased to function in the mid-3rd century AD. It is believed that Abydus, with Sestos and Lampsacus, is referred to as one of the three large capital cities of the Roman Empire in Wailu, a 3rd century AD Chinese text. The city was the center for customs collection at the southern entrance of the Sea of Marmara, and was administered by Encomstan Stenon, Count of the Straits, or an archon from the 3rd century to the 5th century AD. In the 6th century AD, Emperor Justinian I introduced the office of Combs Abadu with responsibility for collecting customs duty in Abydus. Pope Martin I rested at Abydus in the summer of 653 whilst en route to Constantinople. As a result of the administrative reforms of the 7th century, Abydus came to be administered as part of the theme of obsection. The office of Comercarios of Abydus is first attested in the mid-7th century, and was later sometimes combined with the office of Paraphylax, the military governor of the fort, introduced in the 8th century, at which time the office of Combs Tunstenen is last mentioned. After the 7th century AD, Abydus became a major seaport. Maslama ibn Abd al-Malik during his campaign against Constantinople, crossed over into Thrace at Abydus in July 717. The office of Archon at Abydus was restored in the late 8th century and endured until the early 9th century. In 801, Empress Irene reduced commercial tariffs collected at Abydus. Emperor Nikephoros I, Irene's successor, introduced a tax on slaves purchased beyond the city. The city later also became part of the theme of the Aegean Sea and was the seat of a tour marches. Abydus was sacked by an Arab fleet led by Leo of Tripoli in 904 AD whilst en route to Constantinople. The revolt of Bardas Phocas was defeated by Emperor Basil II at Abydus in 989 AD. In 992, 
the Venetians were granted reduced commercial tariffs at Abidus as a special privilege. In the early 11th century, Abidus became the seat of a separate command in the office of Strategos, governor, of Abidus is first mentioned in 1004 with authority over the northern shore of the Hellespont and the islands of the Sea of Marmara. In 1024, a Rus raid led by a certain Chrysacare defeated the local commander at Abidus and proceeded to travel south through the Hellespont. Following the Battle of Manzikert, Abidus was seized by the Seljuk Turks, but was recovered in 1086 AD, in which year Leocephalus was appointed Capeno of Abidus. Abidus' population likely increased at this time as a result of the arrival of refugees from northwestern Anatolia who had fled the advance of the Turks. In 1092 1093, the city was attacked by Zaches, a Turkish pirate. Emperor Manuel I Komnenos repaired Abidus' fortifications in the late 12th century. By the 13th century AD, the crossing from Lamsicus to Calipolis had become more common and largely replaced the crossing from Abidus to Sestos. During the Fourth Crusade, in 1204, the Venetians seized Abidus, and, following the sack of Constantinople and the formation of the Latin Empire later that year, Emperor Baldwin granted the land between Abidus and Otter Medium to his brother Henry of Flanders. Henry of Flanders passed through Abidus on 11 November 1204 and continued his march to Otter Medium. Abidus was seized by the Empire of Nicaea, a successor state of the Eastern Roman Empire, during its offensive in 1206-1207, but was reconquered by the Latin Empire in 1212-1213. The city was later recovered by Emperor John III that its estate Abidus declined in the 13th century and was eventually abandoned between 1304 and 1310 1318 due to the threat of Turkish tribes and disintegration of Roman control over the region. The bishopric of Abidus appears in all the Notitiae Episcopatum of the Patriarchate of Constantinople from the mid-7th century until the time of Andronikos I Palaiologos, 1341, first as a suffragan of Syzygus and then from 1084 as a metropolitan see without suffragans. The earliest bishop mentioned in extant documents is Martian, who signed the joint letter of the bishops of Hellespontus to Emperor Leo I the Thracian in 458, protesting about the murder of Protrius off Alexandria. A letter of Peter the Fuller, 471-488, mentions a bishop of Abidus called Pamphilus. Ammonius signed the decretal letter of the Council of Constantinople in 518 against Severus of Antioch and others. Isidore was at the Third Council of Constantinople, 680-681, John at the Trollan Council, 692, Theodore at the Second Council of Nicaea, 787. An unnamed bishop of Abidus was a counselor of Emperor Nicephoros II in 969. Seals attest Theodosius as bishop of Abidus in the 11th century and John is Metropolitan Bishop of Abidus in the 11th-12th century. Abidus remained a Metropolitan See until the city fell to the Turks in the 14th century. The diocese is currently a titular See of the Patriarchate of Constantinople, and Gerasimos Papadopoulos was titular Bishop of Abidus from 1962 until his death in 1995. Simeon Krushkov was Bishop of Abidus from May to September 1998. Kirillos Katerelos was consecrated Bishop of Abidus in 2008. In 1222, during the Latin occupation, the papal legate Giovanni Colonna united the dioceses of Abidus and Matidos and placed the see under direct papal authority. No longer a residential bishopric, Abidus is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see, and has had the following incumbents. Notes Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.